Hi everyone, welcome back to my restoration channel again. In this video, I'm going to be giving the fan for the V8 a bit of a clean up and a bit of a paint up. Someone's painted it silver at some point in its life and it should be red, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint it red. But well, that is a good point because it was automatic. And I've got a funny feeling the manuals and the autos were a different colour. I'm painting it red anyway. But if you know what colour it should be in a manual, then put a message down there. Right, yeah, so I've got my trusty wire brush bit again in my grinder. So we we'll give this a clean up, then give it a bit of a prime up, and then we'll go and try and find the tin of red paint that I bought because I can't remember what I've done but, but it is here somewhere, I know it is right let's do it and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button that would be great Cleaned out a bit. All right, we'll give this a bit of a degrease. If we got find a bit of clean rag, that'd be great. I think there's a bit of. Not a bad nick at all this anyway. Unfortunately there's no way I'm spending hours and hours cleaning this up, wetting it, wet sanding it and everything. Right, so I'll go and hang this up and then we'll put some primer right, on it. Got a bit of primer. We're Flash a bit out over there. I've found the red paint now as well, so it's all good. That's 
and now it keeps moving. Alright, so that'll do for that. I'll let that dry and then chuck a bit of red on there. Well, I say chuck, you know. We'll put a bit of red on. Right. I'll be back. Right, so I'll give it a couple of light dusty coats. So I'm not sure how well this is going to cover. These are normally horrible. I don't know what this cheapy paint's like. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Oh, the can feels horrible. Alright, we'll let that tack off and then I'll give it another coat or two. It's not actually covering too bad, but it's off eBay this paint, it's quite pretty cheap. And I well, literally broken my finger trying to push the button down, but it's doing the job. Well it ain't tacked off yet, but I was just saying about the can with the nozzle. I've never known this before, but it's got like a little plastic bit in the top of it. So that's why it's hard to push. So I take it back. Actually sprays really good. It's obviously for when it's in transport, I guess. In this day and age where everything comes through the post. So so yeah, that was why that was doing that. Right, I still gotta wait for that to dry, so I'll All be right, back. So this is tacked off now, so you can get another coat. See what it looks like. This paint stinks. This actually covers really well. It's just getting it down in the gaps. It's a bit of a pig to get in the gaps. if it didn't keep moving as well. It's alright like a fan moving when it's in the car but I don't want to move on trying to paint it. Alright that looks pretty good actually but I'll probably let that dry off now and I'll give it one more coat just to be sure. But yeah, it's come up pretty good. Right, not the most exciting video, is it? But it's all got to be done. Right, last coat in. And then we'll call that here, I think.
do it good for me. Blame on. Blind man be pleased to say it. Okay, I probably shouldn't really say that, should I? Probably just offended someone. But hey ho. It's pretty good to me. Except for that bit there that I totally missed. Probably not the only bit neither. So, on that note, I will see you guys later. So, once again, if you ain't hit that subscribe button, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, if you could do so, that'd be great. We try and get up to a thousand, and then I'm going to do a giveaway of an angle grinder. It won't be a Milwaukee one like the one I use in the videos, but it will be one. You know, it's usable, and it'll be free. So, what's not to like? Right, okay then, I'll catch you later. Take it easy.